Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java buffered writer class with the help of examples now guys the buffered writer class of the java io package can be used with other writers to write data in characters more efficiently so guys basically this buffered writer class like any other writer class can be used in order to write some data in an external file now the main difference between the other writer classes and the buffered writer class is that the buffered writer class is more efficient that's because it writes a data in characters and it uses an internal buffer as well so let us check the working of the buffered writer over here so the buffered writer maintains an internal buffer of 8192 characters which means it has an internal buffer of 8192 bytes over here now during the write operation the characters are returned to this internal buffer first instead of the disk so basically the buffer is filled or the writer is closed the whole characters in the buffer are returned to the disk so basically this reduces the io operation between the disk and the program and guys this is the secret behind the buffered writer is more efficient compared to other writer classes now guys the number of communication to the disk is reduced and this is why writing characters is faster using buffered writer now guys let us check buffered writer with the help of examples in the eclipse ide So guys over here we will first create an object of a buffered writer so we have something called as buffered writer over here so as you can see eclipse is suggesting us this buffered writer class and using this buffered writer that is bw object we are going to initialize the buffered writer object so new operator followed by buffered writer so guys in this way we initialize a particular buffered writer object Now in the constructor as you can see it takes one parameter that is the writer over here now guys we cannot provide a direct file name which can be used in order to write the content but we have to use another writer class in order to initialize this buffered writer so what i will do is i will use new file writer over here which we have already seen previously that file writer is also used in order to write the content in a particular file and it has one constructor which takes the file name as the parameter so we are going to use this constructor over here and within the double quotes i am going to provide the name of the file so where i want to store the file over here so as you can see i have two files over here in this particular directory one is java tutorial the other one is a test file which i have used previously in order to read the content now guys i will create another file that is the output file over here so i will take this directory path i'll copy this directory path and paste this within the double quotes and then i will provide the name of the file as the output dot txt over here so as you can see this output dot txt file will be created in this directory path over here as the third file now guys after this line of code i will provide the semicolon and then guys we are getting a red underline over here that's because we have to handle the unhandled exception so i will say first option that is add io exception over here now guys we can use the bw object in order to write the content in the file so what i will do is i will use this bw object over here so we have bw followed by dot and then we have many other methods that you can use in order to accomplish your requirements so guys over here i am going to use this write method which takes one parameter that is going to be the string and it is going to write the content into the file so i am going to use this write and it takes one string over here so what i will do is this is first line in an external file and within the brackets i'll say output so guys this is the line that is this is first line in an external file and inside the bracket we have output over here and this is what we are going to store in our external file that is the output.txt and then guys after writing this first line let's say i only want this line to be stored in the file what i will do is i will close this connection so over here by using the bw dot we can have the close method in order to close this connection so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code but before running the code i will also have one statement that will confirm whether the file content is being returned or not so over here after writing into the file i will have the print statement and i'll say file content return successfully so guys i'll say file content return successfully over here on the console so this will print on the console over here and that is how we will come to know that the file has been created over here now let me just save this file and try running this code now So as you can see file content return successfully is getting printed if we go to the directory it will say output file over here as you can see now let me just open this file it says 
this is first line in an external file that is output and guys in this way we can easily write content into the file now guys let us say i want to add another line over here inside the file so what i will do is again i will just copy paste this line of code that is the right method and i'll say this is another line over here so i'll say another line followed by full stop and over here on the first line as well i'll say full stop and then space character let me just save this file and try running this code now so we have over here file content return successfully inside the directory path we have this is first line in an external file that is output and this is another line so guys in this way we can easily write the content using the buffered writer class now guys let's say i want this second statement on the next line that is the second line over here as you can see this is a continuous one line only in the notepad file so what i can do is i can provide the new line character over here at the end of the first line so over here after the first line i can provide this slash n which is a new line character which will make the control flow go to the next line on the file when it is writing the content over here so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see file content returns successfully if i go over here inside the output file as you can see the second statement is being written on the second line and it is not being continued on the first line as we had seen previously so guys in this way you can write the content in the file you can either have the continuous line of statement or you can have them in the new lines as well so guys apart from this there are many other methods that you can use based on your requirements so when we provide bw followed by dot we have something called as append as well which will try to append the data at the end of the file or in between the file as well apart from that there are many any other methods that you can use in the buffered writer class so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java string reader class with the help of examples so stay tuned